In this presentation, we will upload bank transactions for our second month of operations using a CSV file. Get ready because we're dropping in with Wave. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars dashboard. We're going to be uploading the CSV file. So the file is going to look like this. We got the uh, bank data to upload for April. It's going to be in a CSV format. Similar process with the first month. We're basically taking the bank statement information, just taking those transactions as if we downloaded it from the bank, just seeing the feeds on the transaction in an Excel type file or spreadsheet type file, which is in the format of a CSV file. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be uploading. You should have access to that file if you're following along with the course. So we're going to go down to the accounting and then we're going to go to the transactions. We're going to get, go to the more up top and we want to go to the upload a bank statement. So we're looking to upload the bank statement, which is basically the transactions for the bank that we have downloaded. We are imagining we downloaded them from the bank. We're looking for the CSV type format of a file. You could have it downloaded in these other formats. Recall, if you're downloading that information from the bank, uh, you could use the most common ones, probably being a QBO, QuickBooks file or Quicken file. We're going to use the CSV file. Then it's going to be going to, once again, the checking account. So we're going to be putting that into the checking account. Then let's go ahead and choose by browsing. We'll go ahead and browse our data in order to find what we want. Then we have the uh, bank data to upload in April. That's the one. So I'm going to select that item. Once in place, it'll be here with a little .csv file. We're going to then upload our data. Now we'll go through the verification process. So we're checking that the date field is, is the right column. That looks like the dates to me. So I'm going to confirm the date. Uh, the date column looks like they picked the right date column. How about the amount column it's going to ask? I'm kind of paraphrasing. Is the amount column the right one? Did we pick the right one? And I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to confirm that the amount column looks indeed like it is the correct column. Then we have uh, one confirmation left, which you might have expected, which is the description column. Is that one right, says the software? And we're like, yeah, that one's okay too. So we're going to select uh, uh, the description. That's the one. And then we get to confirm all of it together. And so we're going to say, yep, that's it. And then we should be uploading this doc, this information into our system in a similar way as we did with the prior month. As with the prior month, then it's going to be populating in our system. And it's not quite the same note as uh, QuickBooks Online or a zero type of, of software where I would say it would be completely kind of in limbo typically at this point, not really affecting the financial statements at all. Here, uh, it is affecting the financial statements, but it's typical we know where it's going to be affecting the financial statements. In other words, it's it, it's going to do what it knows it can do. Basically, it's going to increase the bank account, and that's fine because the bank account is what it is. The increases and decreases are there. It's just a question of where the other side is going to go, right? The other side of each of these transactions. Uh, and, and that's what we're going to basically assign out. So notice we have these items down below that we've checked off that we're done with. These items up top that we have not, this being the current month. Let's go take a look at the financial statements just to uh, see what it looks like now. So I'm going to go on down to the reports down below. Take a look at our, our you know favorite two financials and that being the balance sheet and the income statement. So we'll open up the balance sheet. Let's go ahead and right click on the tab up top and duplicate that tab. And then let's open up uh, the income statement while we're at it just for the fun of it you know it's nice to have them up both together you know they they play well together so we'll open up the income statement going back to the balance sheet and then we're going to change the date up top to uh, 2019 and we will upload or update that and then i'm going to go to the details down below so we can see those details now of course what's going to happen here if we go into the checking account the checking account has now been affected by these transactions that have been included to it if we open up the new tab with the detail of those transactions here's what it looks like so we have the march data that we have uh, applied out and then down here we've got the april data so th this data is already in you know on the bank side of things then if we go to the income statement side of things and we take a look we want to be back in uh, 2019 2019 is when we imported the data because we didn't want to be like working in the future and it's early 2020 right now and then i'm going to go down and show the details i'd like to see the details please and then you'll see that this or uncategorized income and uncategorized expenses has now reappeared. And so now our job is to like categorize those items until they disappear again. So all the items that are, are deposits then 
have been included in the income side. So anything that went into the bank that was a deposit increased the bank account, the checking account, and the other side they just put over here into uncategorized income. So we know where it is and our job is to go in there and, and recategorize it. Then the other side, same thing, anything that was a decrease to the checking account, decreased the checking account, the other side then went to uncategorized expenses. So we have all the uncategorized expenses and of course our job then is to go into those bank feeds and categorize the expenses to a different account, the account that would be properly categorized to, and we'll do that until this uncategorized expenses goes away. Once that happens, our job is complete and we will have successfully uploaded and applied out uh, the information for the April bank feeds that we have set up. So we'll continue with the process next time. That's it for now. Let's get out of here.